Welcome to Better Today with Alex Merced, where we talk about improving your life by working on your relationships, knowledge, skills, and health. By allocating your time to development, maintenance, and leisure of those things. If you enjoy the show, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Alex Merced. Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced and welcome to another episode of Better Today, where we will talk about how to be better today. And in a previous podcast, or one of my other podcasts, Economics Why Not, where I talk about economics, I've been doing some research. And I found a really interesting figure that actually has some lessons on how you can be better today. And that character is Fan Li. He was a, a figure within uh, ancient Chinese politics. And basically what he did is he came up with 12 golden rules. So we're talking about back in 500 BC. So these these are these go way back. And a lot of this you'll find familiar from any business books you might have read, etc. So I thought I'd go through them. I think there's some great lessons uh, to be had here. So I figured this week we'll go over the 12 golden rules and then next week we'll go through the 12 golden safeguards. So let's go through the 12 golden rules. So basically these are things you can do to be more successful in business and be better today. The ability to know people's character. So the idea is to be able to read people. And the best way to develop an ability to read people's characters is just to go out and meet people. This is where it goes down to the whole idea of building relationships. When I talk about focusing on health, relationship skills, and knowledge, that's why it's important to develop relationships. Not only does it open up doors, but also helps you develop that skill of reading people. The ability to handle people. So to be able to kind of go in there without any kind of assumptions about how they're going to behave. So that way you don't get caught off guard when they behave in a way you didn't predict. So the idea is to kind of go in there and kind of tr- not underestimate people. To stay focused on business. There's a lot of things going on in life and you don't want all those different things uh, distracting you. You want to be focused on what your goal is and continue on that goal. The ability to be organized. So to be able to articulate an idea. Okay, so basically, if I was talking to you about a bottle of water, I want to be able to organize what I'm going to say in a way that is clear what a bottle of water is. The ability to control credit, making sure you get paid back. The ability to be adaptable. As the situation changes, you need to be able to change. The ability to use and deploy people. The idea that you don't want to do everything yourself because there's too much to be done. So being able to identify people, build a team, and delegate different tasks to those teams so that we can get more done. The ability to articulate and market. This is a little bit different than the ability to communicate an idea, organize, because while I can tell you what a bottle of water is, doesn't mean you know why a bottle of water is good for you. This is the idea of communicating value and basically sales. So my ability to also tell you not only that this is a bottle of water, but this bottle of water is something you want, that it's going to quench your thirst, that you're going to be much more comfortable today because you drank this bottle of water. And on top of it, you're going to be a healthier person to be able to communicate value. The ability to excel in purchasing, the idea is looking for good purchase opportunities for the inputs you need. The ability to analyze market opportunities and threats, know who your competitions are, know when to sell be able to anticipate market trends so that way you can be in on the ground floor instead of playing catch up. The ability to lead by example. If you're going to have if you're going to delegate authority to people, you need to be an example of the kind of effort the people below you need to put in. Okay, so that way they continue putting in that kind of effort. And then also to have business foresight. Again, being able to kind of analyze market trends and cycles and predict and be able to be a good predictor. So if you work on all these different things, and none of these things are things that you just magically have, they're all things that are developed with repeated experience and repeated practice. You might meet people who you feel have a natural ability for certain things, but a lot of times it just happens that the way their life worked out, they had those repeated experiences to develop those skills. So the idea is to put yourself in a position where you can repeat the use of these skills enough to become a master at them, and then you will be better. So these are the 12 golden rules from Fan Lee. Next week, we'll talk about the 12 golden safe rules. See you then.